SCAD is something to be very aware of in women who present with an acute coronary syndrome. And the one thing that I will really highlight is, especially in the cath lab as an interventionalist, SCAD is something that you don't want to stent necessarily. I want to talk to you about SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Yes. What is one thing that every heart team member should know about SCAD? One thing to know is that especially SCAD is something to be very aware of in women who present with an acute coronary syndrome. And the one thing that I will really highlight is especially in the cath lab as an interventionalist, SCAD is something that you don't want to stent necessarily because um, it can become quite the complicated procedure. You can extend the dissection. I think the best way to manage these patients who come in with SCAD is more conservatively um, antiplatelet therapy, unless they're really unstable with ventricular arrhythmias or shock or those kinds of things. So, I think that's such an important point about yeah. treating SCAD patients as a different population than your thrombotic acute coronary syndromes. Yes. And I think it's also very interesting because SCAD can be really hard to diagnose by angiogram. And so mm -hmm. it is nice that we now have other modalities like CT imaging where we can do serial imaging to see if something has healed or resolved over time.